Hi there and welcome to another Bug Bytes tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to look at Network X and how to compute the graph Laplacian matrix uh, using tools in Python. So we have imported Network X. This is a network library in Python. And we've also imported NumPy which we're going to use in this as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to generate something called a regular graph. And if we look at this Wikipedia article you can see that a regular graph um, is a graph where every vertex has the same number of neighbors. So in other words, every vertex has the same degree. And you can see down here pictorially what that means. A zero regular graph is one in which all of the nodes have zero edges, degree is zero. One regular graph, you can see every node is connected to one other node. In a two regular graph, you can see that every um, every node is connected to two nodes and so on. So what we're going to do is we're going to use Network X to compute or to generate rather a three regular graph. So you can use the random regular graph method. And there's two parameters here. We're going to say we want this to be three regular and we want 10 nodes and we'll store that in a variable called G. And what we can do is we can pictorially see what that does using the nx.draw method. And you can see we've got 10 vertices here that are all connected to th three other nodes. So this node, if you look at it, is connected to that one, this one, and that one. And all of them are connected to three nodes. So we have this graph G. And what we're going to do now is we're going to look at how to compute the Laplacian matrix. This is a very useful matrix in graph theory. Um, it can be used to find many useful properties of a graph. And for computer science and Python, you might be interested to know that it can be used to construct low dimensional embeddings, which are very useful uh, in machine learning and dimensionality reduction. Um, that's something very commonly done in machine learning and data science. The Laplacian matrix is very um, useful to know about. So let's see what exactly it is. If we go down, we can see that the Laplacian matrix is simply the degree matrix minus the adjacency matrix of the graph. Now, the degree matrix is very simple. It's a diagonal matrix. So it's all zeros except on the diagonal. And it contains information about the degrees of every vertex. Now, that's very easy in a regular graph. The degree in this graph is going to be 3. All graphs have the same degree in a regular graph. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at how to generate these in Network X. So to generate the adjacency matrix, that's very simple. We'll call that A and we use the nx.adjacency matrix. This is a function and we pass in the graph that we've created to generate that. And if we look at what we get back, we see we get a sparse matrix. This makes sense because normally a graph has a lot of nodes and not many of the nodes are connected. When you think of a social network, for example, you may be friends with 100 people, but there may be millions of people worldwide. So it's a very sparse representation of the graph and adjacency matrix, but we can convert it to a NumPy array using the two array method. And when we look at that, just go back to that cell there. If we look at that, we see we get the adjacency matrix of this graph G. Now that's easily done. To calculate D, we're going to create a diagonal matrix using NumPy. It's going to be numpy.diag. And we know that the degree of every node in the graph is three. So we can generate a vector here of threes. So numpy.ones will generate that to be, and we know that we've got 10 nodes in the graph. We have that up here. These should probably be constants, but we'll just keep it as it is. And we can multiply the ones that we get back there by three. And this statement here will give us a vector of 10 threes, essentially. And with that, we can create a 10 by 10 diagonal matrix. And we can see the results of that here. Every value is zero, except on the diagonal where we have the degrees. That's the degree matrix of the graph. And from there, it's very simple to get the Laplacian matrix L. We take the degree matrix that we've just calculated and we subtract the graph's adjacency matrix. So it's D minus A, which will be a vectorized NumPy operation. And to look at the result L, we get, as always on the diagonal, we get the freeze. And now we have values elsewhere in the in the matrix. And if we look at the network X built-in routine for this, it's got a Laplacian matrix function that you can pass the graph to, and then we can convert that to a non-sparse array. And these should match up. So if we call numpy.isclose or numpy.isclose, 
think it's array equal. Let's see if these two arrays are equal. The Laplacian matrix and D minus A. And you see that that results in true because our calculation, our manual calculation of D minus A is equal to the network X Laplacian matrix calculation. So I think it's useful to know what the Laplacian matrix is and how to manually compute it using the degree matrix and the adjacency matrix of a graph. That's how it's done in Python with network X and NumPy. And this is how it's done just using one function in network X on your graph G. So that's all for this video. Now you know how to compute the Laplacian matrix of a graph. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe and thank you for watching.